This is going to be a demonstration video of how the NVIDIA Shield handles the PSP emulator for Android, also called PPSSPP, made from a Norwegian developer, also one of the developers of the, um, of the um, Dolphin emulator for uh, GameCube and Wii for uh, PC, uh, PC, and also for the Android, but uh, not quite stable, uh, stable enough. So let's get started. So the game I want to try uh, demonstrate first is the Tekken uh, Tekken 5 Dark, uh, Dark Resurrection for uh, PSP of course and um, I had to tinker with the settings a lot and I found that uh, found out that I could get about a uh, fair 60 FPS on the uh, console. And right now the CPU is at 99% uh, or 102% actually. And 31 or 30 FPS. Let's skip this video. Like this, freestyle. And double gym, I don't double gym. Take it on. Get ready for the next battle. Yeah, the, the sound is a little bit laggy. I was stuttering. But other than that, the combat is just fine. Let's see. Now it's at 60 of 60, uh, 30 of 60 uh, FPS at 99% uh, CPU usage. And normally uh, on iPhone or, or uh, Galaxy S4, the sound uh, would have started like crazy, and also the same with the gameplay. And uh, I am quite shocked that uh, the shield is able to handle this. But uh, it could also be because of the Tekken 4, because the CPU isn't. Uh, going to be such a, such a uh, the GPU isn't going to be a, such a uh, a, a, ball, a ball neck uh, like the, uh, the GPU on the phone saw, but uh, on this one the gameplay is fair, fairly good. So, what do you think, guys? Not the best fighting, but <laughs> just a demonstration as a um, yeah, just a demonstration. So, this is quite a good performance for the Nvidia Shield to be able to handle the uh, graphics that uh, the PSP uh, uh, PSP delivers, and also um, uh, also um, I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Um, um, oh uh, yeah, um, about the system menu, you can uh, actually choose um, when some better hardware comes out. You can even choose to uh, upscale it to. Uh, to have about uh, three uh, three times bigger resolution, for example, the 480p will then be 1080p, for example, and also the texture filtering to um, to not make the texture look so um, low res and all that, and um, you also have the um, let's see the hardware transform. Uh, it can be good sometimes uh, to transform the hardware. Uh, to uh, simulate the PSP hardware, but uh, I found out that uh, this one actually slows down the whole gameplay. Hmm, actually, not this time. But, uh, normally, uh, when I tried last time, uh, the hardware transform uh, made uh, made the uh, the whole gameplay stutter. And you can also buffer uh, buffer it to uh, uh, to get even more FPS, but. Um, uh, last time I tried CPU or GPU, the frame just dropped, uh, dropped drastically. And also, uh, the one thing I don't like is that you cannot choose uh, you choose more than two threads, aka multi-thread, instead of, instead of quad-core. So uh, for now, I'll, I can only use two cores of the 1.9 GHz uh, uh, CPU inside, and I can also clock the CPU uh, 
it seems like uh, it's like and uh, I don't want to tinker with that in case something goes wrong um, that seems to be about it so yeah um, this uh, kind of ramps up the uh, early demo of, uh, of the gameplay of the PSP emulator for new skill so um, tell me what you think guys so let us out <laughs>